everyone. Welcome to my dining room. Daisy's having a bit of a nap, so we can have a chat. Today, I wanted to share my perfume collection. It's a lot smaller than it used to be. As we all know, perfume is really expensive, especially the nice stuff. Um, I have some cheap stuff and nicer stuff, um, so let's just get into it. I want to start with my latest purchases, and it was the little sample-ish sizes of the Terry Mugler collection. Alien is probably one of my favorite scents ever. Um, I just didn't have the money to spend on the full size, and I thought, well, I should give Angel a try. Angel Muse is amazing. Then I also got the Ariana Grande little minis um i really like her scents and it's one of those guilty pleasures with pop star fragrances it they just are you know you're like okay i have the britney spears perfumes because i do um but they smell good they always seem to smell really sweet and stuff but i really like hers as you can see i haven't busted them open but I'm trying to be sensible about my perfume use. Like I mentioned, I have Britney Spears perfume. This is the um, Circus Fantasy. I have Midnight Fantasy, the original Fantasy, and maybe one more. I don't know. I gave them to my mom, and she just has them sitting in her drawer. I really like this one. It's not quite as sugary sweet. Um, I just think the packaging is kind of cute. You know? You know, I don't like to give that girl my money because she's got tons of it already, but I like the perfume. This is also private show. It's different. Usually she just releases another incarnation of fantasy, and this one's actually different, and I really like it. I talked about it in another video that I have. I also have a Katy Perry uh, perfume. It's the Killer Queen. I love the imagery for that uh, perfume line. And it smells really good. Um, I use it just kind of as an air freshener, though, so I don't know where it is right now. Okay, speaking of pop stars, she's more of a rock star to me, but if any of you know me, you know my love for Gwen Stefani. So I have kind of a paired back collection of Gwen Stefani perfumes. Um, this is super dusty, but of course it's the Electro Pop Gwen. Love it. And it came with this little lotion, which I've never used. Then I have this little solid perfume for, of love, the Harajuku Girls. I really need to use this up. Then I have the original um, G scent from Harajuku Lovers. Of course, you know I got that. I had the Snow Bunnies. But I got rid of them, and I also had all of the Wicked um, Girls collection, but I also got rid of that. I sold those. So I have the G Sun, Sunshine Cuties, and I like this better than the original. And it's cute. I also had the <laughs> uh, Santa G ornament, and I sold that too. I had all of them. It was ridiculous. And then I also have the Music Electric Pop. Do I have any of the Wicked's anymore? I don't think I do. I have the Music. I like this music, the smell of this one, better than the original. But I really like the original. The original Music and Love are really, really good. Shine Cuties and Little Angel. This is probably my favorite fragrance. That's why I just straight up bought a tester because I wanted a bunch of it. I had it somewhere. I don't know where it is. But yeah, I don't like the original Angel, but the Sunshine Cuties is amazing. It's so, so good that I just straight up bought the tester. I didn't need the cute little figure. I just wanted the fragrance. It was just like, just give it to me. Then I have the first perfume she came out with, the L Lamb Perfume. It's amazing. I love this perfume. I have a smaller bottle backup that I've never even used. And I have the um, shower gels and such. I actually have the fragrance um, coat that uh, ladies at the fragrance counter um, 
was having. It's kind of this lady just saw how much I love Gwen. I had like head to toe like Harajuku lover and lamb stuff on one day. And she said, you are so cool. I just think you're so cool. I'm going to bring this in for you and come in. It was like two days from then and I did and she had it and and I just keep it. I just never get rid of it because it's really cool. But unfortunately, this perfume has a really strong association with me with um, someone and it's a little hard to wear even though I love it so much. Oh Another one of my all-time favorite is Amor Amor. As you can see, I've used it a lot. I've gone through a whole bottle of this. I love the little rose on it. This is such a nice sweet scent. It's very similar to a lot of things that I that I already have. I have the Saint, which I was so glad to get the Saint in center of the center. I like this fragrance more than the um, center, which is a bit disappointing for me. Um, so I'm really excited to use that when I get to it. I have a full bottle of the Lady Gaga perfume. I had a rollerball of this. I used it up. It's so good. I love the packaging. I'm not into gold, but it's so good. I don't know. I just, it, it really, really is. I was hoping she'd come up with another another perfume, but she never did. I love that it's black um, fluid. So, rounding out my collection, I have this from uh, Pacifica, and it's the Sugar Amber Dreams Rollerball. I love this fragrance, but guess what? The rollerball like doesn't work, and it's so frustrating. I have to really work at it, and I can vaguely get the scent out a little bit, and it. And I haven't been able to find just the regular spray. It smells so good. I can vaguely smell it right now. It has kind of a fruity, sugary smell to it. And it just, it just don't work. And it makes me really sad. Then I have a, listen to this. I have had this perfume forever. It's pink, all my heart perfume. And I have sprayed it so many times. It used to smoke and I would spray this and it's still going. It's just never gonna die. And I also have the Bath and Body Works Warm Sugar Classic Fragrance. When I saw it at Goodwill, I had to get it. It's just one of them things. I also have a bunch of samples. I'm working my way through these. Uh, I'm putting them in all my empties. I have a Chanel Gabrielle. I have a Prada Candy. I have a couple of clean um, fragrances. My Burberry, Burberry perfumes are really nice. Um, my favorite perfumes are actually from Calvin Klein. Euphoria is probably my favorite. I don't have a bottle of Euphoria right now. Long story, um, but this is a bottle of Obsession. I may have sprayed it once or twice. This was the signature scent of my sister who passed away. And this was actually the last bottle of um, Obsession that she bought and never used. Um, as far as I know, because it was still in, in the box. Um, she went through obsession like candy. Um, and I don't even smell it that much because it just breaks my heart. Um, it's a wonderful, heavy scent. Uh, if you like opium uh, from YSL, you'd really like Obsession as well. I, I think Calvin Klein perfumes are great, and they're a bit more affordable than um, some others like um, this guy. This guy is just crazy expensive. I also really like the um, Juicy perfumes. I really, I really just love perfume, and it's so expensive, and it takes so long to get through it that... Um, I just have to stop myself. I've never shown my baby in a video, but he was so sweet. You woke up? Yeah, I woke up, mama. So that is my current perfume collection. It is so hard for me to resist. There are so many perfumes that I like that I don't currently have. I'm making my way through. I change my perfumes out a lot based on the season. I always have the Angel Sunshine Cutie out during the summer um, and the other Sunshine Cutie, uh, Gwen, I put, take her out even though I don't use her. I take her out. Right now I'm just working through my samples. I should really work on some older perfume um, but then I don't want to use it all up because I like to have it in my collection like my Amor Amor. It's 
cheap perfume. It's a lot of the memories associated with it. I think maybe that's why I just keep it. It feels like I always have to have it close to me. So, <clears throat> yeah, what are your favorite perfumes? Which, which ones do you think I should try that I haven't tried? Um, so that is it for now. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Say bye-bye.